Uh, we have something different now. Uh, touch in computing is something that a lot of us have kind of first experienced in a real interesting way on the iPhone uh, or maybe uh, watching CNN with that th weird thing they have. Uh, but uh, this th next speaker, Christoph Ramstein, has a company called Immersion that's really looking in interesting ways at what touch means as a user interface. So. Uh, He's going to show us some very interesting things. He's Chief Technology Officer of Immersion, and he will show us how they are bringing another one of our senses to the way we use computing. So please welcome Christoph Ramstein. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good morning, and uh, thank you. And thanks especially to the editors of um, Fortune for inviting Immersion uh, here today. Uh, also to rec for recognizing the value of our technology for the future of the digital user experience. I'm going to unleash something to you today that has to do with new user experience, touch, and notebooks. Immersion is a Silicon Valley a company, public company, um, designing, developing, licensing um, completely new user experience, engaging the sense of touch. Touch, as you may know, is the larger sensor we have on our body. It's an average of two square meter per person, giving you information such as texture, deformation of the skin, vibrations, also temperature, occasionally pain through tear and scratching. But touch is also something that is important to get the idea of your posture. Closed eyes, you can walk. You don't have to think about the walking. You just get it. Eventually, touch is really profound. It is intimate. It is spontaneous, emotional, and also unmistakable. If someone touches my arm, there's absolutely no ambiguity about the fact that this person, what touched me, is real, right? From a product standpoint, uh, haptics or touch feedback is gaining in importance. Uh, every day we see new opportunities uh, all around the world. It is the rumble feedback for the PlayStation and Microsoft Xbox. It is the force feedback in the BMW I drive, eyes on the road, hands on the wheel, and you control your computer. Haptics is extremely important. It is the force feedback that orthopedic surgeons are using while replacing a knee using some of these new robotic arms. And eventually, it is the tactile feedback that we're getting when we enter text or dial a number on one of the Samsung or LG haptically enabled phone. In the cell phone industry, the major OEMs, including Samsung, LG, and Nokia, have shipped over 70 million phones with haptic in it, emergence technology being licensed to these people. And this growth is exponential. This is a huge market, and haptics is there. So today I'm going to introduce a breakthrough new concept uh, of a user experience for notebooks and tablet PCs. And all those devices are using touchscreens, right? You know these flat surfaces made of plastic or uh, glass? The problem we're having that is we're losing two things. We're losing the traditional keyboard, which is a very nice, easy to use, satisfying device, right? The feeling of it when you press a key. We're also losing the mouse and this pointing device. Try to use this new pointing device, that's your hand, on the surface of a glass and select the thin border of a window. Try to find it, and then move it around. Very challenging. Try to select text. You're hiding what is on the screen while doing so. It is a little bit like playing the piano on a table. So with haptics, there is a great opportunity for improving that and dramatically getting a much better user experience, either for selecting this little window edge or for selecting text. In the eyes closed, I will be able to select and find out the end of a sentence, the beginning of a word, or when I'm redrawing or resizing a drawing, you know, finding out where my snap to grid is, tactically speaking, through the sense of touch. Or in the social networking side, we introduced two months ago the concept of immersive messaging, where I was creating a little heart, and I was typing some text and <sighs> sending it over the network to my wife, and when she was receiving it, Putting her hand on the device, she could feel the heart beating and reading this nice text. Coming from a French guy, it was perfect. Now, 
in the in gaming industry, the interactive aspect of it is even more important, and haptics can add to that too. And that's what we're going to uh, experience today. It's a simple uh, gaming application. It's a pinball application, uh, multi-user uh, that can be uh, played over the network. But let's have someone from the audience to join and um, experience what I'm talking about uh, when I say immersive uh, user experience. Can you join me to applaud? Stop. Hello. Hi. How are you doing? Good, thank you. Can you tell your name? My name is Lucy Hackman. I'm from Pitney Bowes, the Mailstream Technology Company. Great. Welcome on stage. Thank you for inviting me up here. Lucy, do you have any experience in gaming? Um, I play the Wii. I guess, from a virtual Great. perspective. Fantastic. So we're having a very different experience here. Okay. Why don't we have a seat, uh, Lucy? Great. And um, what we have on the table is a prototype that was developed at Immersion. It is a prototype made of uh, HP notebooks, smart touch um, devices with touch screens, and we modified those devices to haptify them. We used thin piezoelectric actuators and integrated electronics. Uh, optimizing power and maximizing the haptic feedback. This is high fidelity haptics. Well, you won't be able to touch it, she will. <laughs> and that's why we have her here. She's going to talk about her experience. Okay. So why don't we just get started, Lucy, and grab the device and put it on your lap, if that's okay. okay. Yeah, just do it. Okay, got it. Okay. So this is like a laptop? This is like a laptop, Okay. Yeah. So what you have on, on your lap is um, an application of a pin bone. And if you put your finger on the touch screen at the bottom of it, you see a little pad. Yep. And uh, if you move it, uh, yes, just oh, above, and move okay. it left and right. That's correct. Oh, I got right. you. Mm -hmm. So you have one degree of freedom. Now, if you press the button uh, saying launch, okay. you will launch a bone. Okay. Oh, okay. Whoa, okay. And I will let you play with it for, for a few seconds. Okay. Oh, okay. Whoa, I can like feel the. The whole thing's moving. Very tactile experience. This is extremely different than the Wii. So can you explain what you feel? When, wow, you're well, good. I, <laughs> She's really good. Please <laughs> join you. me to encourage her. That's fantastic. It, everything's moving. Like I actually feel like I'm at a ping pong table, to tell you the truth. And I can tell that it feels like it's a metal ball that's going, bouncing all over the screen. Can you tell us about the different types of sensations you are getting? Well, every time it touches, the, the, the thing vibrates a little bit. When it touches the, uh, it's like an exile, what's that thing, xylophone. And you can notice that the sounds and the graphics and the touch are synchronized, with this, which is really important. Can you feel this? Can you feel the synchronization, the multimodal experience you're having? Can you comment exactly. on that? Exactly. So, when I was moving the mouse and the ball was going around, you could actually feel it like there was a ball rolling on a hard surface. I mean, very tactile experience where, you know, the Wii is nice and virtual, but you're not actually ever making contact. I feel like I'm actually making contact. So let's try something. Now, we have a little switch here, and I will just flip it. And now, can you do it one more time and tell us what you experience now? Okay. And click it one. I, I mean, I feel like I'm at my computer just playing a video game. There's nothing touchy-feely about it. There's no dimension to it, very, very one-dimensional. And, that, and that's very important, no dimension. This kind of comments, like haptics, is adding a new dimension, not only to the user experience, but to, this, to the design space, which is fantastic. Let's bring this computer back to life okay. and go to the next level. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add myself as, as a user because of course we can play that together. And by doing so, what she's going to be able to do is feel what's going on on my machine without even seeing it. It is like playing ping pong with a partner on a network, experiencing when the person is hitting a ball, but not being there. So I'm joining the session. Okay. Oh, yep, see you. And we all for a go. Okay, so I'll launch it. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I can feel it on my machine that the ball has gone over somewhere else, but it's, it's not on my screen anymore. So let me launch. I'll be careful it's coming back to you. Okay. Oh, yeah. Damn it. And I can literally feel when the ball is crashing. I don't have to think about it. And it's particularly 
engaging. You would, would you mind? It's coming to you. Uh, it's coming back? Oh, you're playing ping pong now. Oh, that's great. Can you feel that? Yeah, every time it makes contact, you can feel it in the machine. So whatever you're doing, I'm, I'm feeling it here, even though I can't see it. And of course, there's almost no limit. Lucy, thank you so much. This Welcome. is fantastic. Thanks. That was great. Trading in my Wii. Yeah, absolutely. You should have that in a, in a Wii device. There's almost no limit to what can be done here. We talked about text edition. We talked about graphical object on the touchscreen. We talked about uh, social networking. We talked about interactive gaming, haptics is dramatically improving the user experience with all those types of touchscreens. And seriously, touchscreens just won't realize their full potential without haptics. Touchscreens, the way they are today, will not realize the full potential uh, without having this amazing dimension of haptics. When you put your finger on it, you feel it. And coincidentally, immersion is an amazing partner for this type of technology, uniquely positioned from an IP technology standpoint on the planet for a technology that is, after all, quite difficult to implement. So, Lucy, one more time, thank you so much thank you. for your participation. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.